Over half a season done, the most important part is still to come. It's a Liverpool team well rested and in possession of the longest unbeaten run in the Premier League with huge interest to maintain in four different competitions. Today, though, is the start of temporary life without Mo Salah. There'll be obvious worries about his condition on AFCON duty. Reinforcements on the way back to full fitness elsewhere. But until then, grit and determination needed. A win would take Liverpool to 22 points away from Anfield, one short of the whole of last season. Bournemouth, no pushovers, though. Only three points from their first nine games. The landscape now is very different. 22 points they've taken from the 10 games since. So Trent, Salah, Sobersly, Endo all missing from last time out in the Premier League. It means a Premier League debut for young Connor Bradley at right back. Harvey Elliott moves back into the midfield in his 100th senior game. Luis Diaz makes his 50th Premier League appearance, perhaps on the right side, usually occupied by Salah. Nunes and Jota complete the forward line. Be interesting to see which one plays down the middle. Bournemouth do have problems. Adam Smith and Milos Kerkez added to a lengthy roll call in Bournemouth's treatment room. Lloyd Kelly was struggling to make this one only on the bench. Antoine Semenyo, Dango Tara away with Ghana and Burkino Faso at AFCON. James Hill back from alone at Blackburn, straight into the starting 11. Three of their usual back four are missing. Wind and rain, Sunday afternoon, late kickoff, Bournemouth against Liverpool. Nothing to speak of of yet, but two teams that are right on the front foot. The much talked about Dominic Solanke. Cooks ball round the corner for Sinistera. Back comes Harvey Elliott. Second corner of the game over on that far side this time. Enjoying the time of his life, Dominic Solanke's got over 40% of Bournemouth's goals this season. How he would love one against his former employers. An outswinger. Look likely. Tavernier with the short one. It was firing in this time, and it was Alison Becker who had to be alive once again. Well, it's a couple of corners that like have been really varied. Obviously, this again working from the training ground. Nearly pays dividends as well. Alison Becker has to make sure. Here's Alexis McAllister again. Find some range, perhaps. Keeper was making it look slightly closer than it was, Neto. Well, Liverpool want McCallis to pick up these spaces a lot more in this game. You can see that nobody really comes out to Alexi McCallis. He's allowed to run with the ball, more or less, not saying straight to the 18-yard box, not far off the edge of the 18-yard box, but it's a poor effort in the end. McAllister finds a way to Diaz. Diaz has suppose uh, opening up on that right side. It caught a deflection on its way through. Maybe not the right option in the end, just according to... Diogo Jota. Canate looks for that run of Diogo Jota. Feels the presence of Mepham, and it was almost the most audacious of attempts there from Darwin Nunes. It's a lovely ball by Canate. It's a good run by Diogo Jota. He's looking that for that little bit of support. He doesn't find it. And in the end, the semi half turn gets himself a little bit away from Mapham. Allows that cross in there. Difficult chance from Nunez's point of view. Shooting opportunity here from Ryan Christie. Now they worked out really well. Curtis Jones just sold himself, got done by the dummy, totally got taken out of the game, and in the end, a bit like Liverpool's efforts at goal has been a little bit, a little bit weak. Sinistera, Liverpool players felt he handled that as he controlled it. Smart feet and Cliver, danger here for Liverpool, right across the face of goal. Any time the ball comes across the six-yard box like this, you are a little bit concerned. They work it really well. Cliver's there, just fires it over there. Liverpool have got bodies to match the runners. But had Bournemouth had just another runner coming at the back post then, certainly that was an empty net. It was a goal straight away. Never, ever in danger of underestimating how good this uh, Bournemouth threat can be. Certainly not after last season, anyway. Curtis Jones, bit of space now for Jota. Jota picks Darwin Nunes! We knew he'd get the opportunity sooner or later. That's his 100th senior goal in football. No defence is safe. Nine for the season to add to his ten assists. There is no safe place 
in the Premier League with Darwin Nunes around. It might look a simple tap-in for Darwin Nunez, but the build-up was really, really clever. And Darwin Nunez on this occasion gets on the end of it and finishes it. It starts there, that's a little bit scruffy, but this is all really from here on in. Lovely little build by Curtis Jones and the first time pass by Diogo Jota. If you're in a position, a forward position, if sometimes if you take a touch, that just split second, just everything closes up. He doesn't take the touch, Jota. He plays it first time, hence the reason that Darwin Nunez has got so much time and space inside the 18-yard box. And it's all about the finish. It's all about the quality. Can he find the bottom corner? He finds the back of the net, and is he happy about it? And the uh, away support certainly have taken enough encouragement inside this first six or seven minutes of the, the second half. A goal from Nunez, changing the focus, and goal scorer back on the ball again now. Looking to take on Max Ahrens. Nunes does find a way. Cross with his left foot. In comes Connor Bradley. What a story that would have been. How well did Nunes do? And he was close, wasn't he? Well, he does exceptionally well. Darwin Nunes stands up Max Ahrens. And a header from the youngster, Connor Bradley. Opportunity maybe now for Bradley. Brings a brilliant save out of Neto that time. Christie dispossessing Curtis Jones. Long searching one, Kelly looking for Solanke. Solanke looking for a mistake from Liverpool's captain. He's out of luck this time. Liverpool need this to stick to Darwin Nunes here at least. Liverpool do have men forward, ball forward for Diogo Jota who makes no mistake, tenth goal of the season, this man is worth his weight in goal, and how big a goal will that be for Liverpool? Two to the good. Well, when you've lost your main goal scorer in the form of Mohamed Salah, you need somebody to step up to the plate, and let's face it, both Darwin Nunez and Diogo Jota have done just that. All credit to Darwin Nunez here, he makes himself a nuisance, he wins the ball there, and then it's just a lovely little pass, always inviting, right into the path of Diogo Jota from Cody Gakpo. It's an invite just to go and hit it first time. Neto won't be too happy with himself there to be beat on the near post. It's absolutely inch perfect from Diogo Jota, comes in off the post, and Liverpool get that second goal, give them a little bit of breathing space. Connor Bradley making his way backwards as Bournemouth make their way forwards through Brooks. Aaron's on the overlap, it's a good ball in as well to Dominic Solanke, perhaps should have taken it first time. Well, got quite a bit of space down this right-hand side as Brooks tries to play it in with the outside of his left foot. For once it goes past Virgil van Dijk, but it was a difficult opportunity for Solanke. All that experience out on the pitch and they have the likes of Owen Beck back amongst the, uh, the substitutes again, who of course was brought back from his uh, loan spell over at Dundee, done exceptionally well, might he be in the thoughts? Aaron's comes forward, really good touch. Second opportunity to get it into the box, and Solanke was on the swing. But it was uh, very swiftly dealt with by Big Ibu Kanati, who gets the congratulations of his captain. Well, he just wanted to pass the buck to Max Arms. He does exceptionally well. The first touch is a good one, second touch is absolutely sublime. And instead of hitting it on his own, he tries to find Dominic Solanke. But Kanati is alive to it. You can see what he's trying to do, the fullback. And in fairness, when you look at the replay, had it not been for Kanati's outstretched leg, that certainly Solanke would have had a shot at goal. We mentioned before about the uh, the youthful exuberance on Liverpool's bench. There is some decent news on the way, certainly in terms of the cavalry that Jurgen Klopp might be able to count on. Just stick with this one for the moment as Bournemouth through Christie come forward. But yeah, Sobosly, Alexander Arnold. Robertson all hoping for some time in full training next week. Ball forward here for Nunes to chase. Cody Gakpo joining in, as is Gravenberg. Diogo Jota wanted it on the edge of the box. The cross was incoming for Cody Gakpo. Opportunity perhaps for Bradley. Jota on the second opportunity. A ridiculous finish. And that should be that from Liverpool's point of view.
Fortune sometimes favours the brave, and there's no braver than Liverpool's number 20. Bournemouth nil, Liverpool three. Well, shall we give him the benefit of the doubt that he meant that? <laughs> Possibly not. But uh, it was a really good move from Liverpool. Started off by the midfield players, the two Dutchmen combined there really, really well. Setting Darwin Nunez away down the left-hand side here. Lovely little first-time pass. Say it so often, if you can make that first-time pass, it does cause defenders all sorts of problems. And Darwin Nunez isolated one-on-one with Zabarnye. Gets to the byline. It's not the best cross in the world. The full-back on the other side follows it up and then gets two bites of the cherry. And the last person you want to give to two bites of the cherry to is the Portuguese international Diogo Jota and what a finish again first one was at the near post this goes across the goalkeeper and again it's the ability to react to the mistake and the and he's on it like a flash he's the quick to re, quickest to react but uh, that 1-0 defeat here 14 months ago there was also that crazy 4-3 game you might remember in the uh, the second season of Jurgen Klopp Liverpool 2-0 up inside the first 20 odd minutes and then conceded three in the last 15 to lose the game 4-3. But it has been a ground that's been good to Liverpool. Big chance this for Brooks, though, who just tried to chip it over the right hand of Alison Becker. Miscalculated it massively. The Warrington ball midfielder, former Man City man. Oh, it's the first opportunity they've had, probably, well, clear-cut chance in the course of the game. And again, Alison Becker, give him his due, he comes out, he makes himself a big obstacle. I just wondered if Brooks had maybe just fainted to take it round him. I think that would probably have been the better, better choice. How cool was the captain? Here's Owen Beck with a chance to force his name on Bournemouth's afternoon. Graven Burke. Joe Gomez wanted it switched to the other side. Gakpo might get the chance now. McAllister. Gomez's cross in is a good one for Nunes. Wonderful finish. The fourth wonderful finish we've seen this afternoon. An assist for Joe Gomez as well. And the man that just doesn't give any Premier League defence a moment's peace is at it again. Well, they've absolutely blitzed Bournemouth in the second period, haven't they? It's a lovely ball by Joe Gomez. I was going to give him a little bit of credit. I mean, without this delivery. I was still going to give him credit. I think he's been absolutely outstanding, certainly in recent games. And in this game, he's been absolutely fantastic, both at left fullback and at right fullback. And he's made that goal for Darwin Nunez. Any sort of contact, the big Uruguayan has got to hit the back of the net. It's a lovely little touch. It's not an easy one. It comes out the sky, more or less on the half volley. But it's the quality of the ball from Joe Gomez that actually makes it. And Darwin Nunez gets his second to equal Diogo Jota. Bobby Clark was willing. Liverpool haven't given this up yet. Almost for Cade Gordon. And at last, this wonderful Liverpool away win is brought to an end. They go five clear of Manchester City. Two goals for Diogo Jota. Two goals for big Darwin Nunes. And perhaps that statement Liverpool performance, certainly in the second half that they were looking for. Jota was wonderful for the Red Sea this afternoon. All smiles and it's ended here. Bournemouth nil. Liverpool four. Space now for Jota. Jota picks Darwin Nunes. We knew he'd get the opportunity sooner or later. That's his 100th senior goal in football. 